PDF. So before continuing class, just we recall what we have learned in previous class. As you know, the students in previous class we studied the British and French how they struggled to establish supremacy power in our India. So to decisive battle and uh, finally third one decisive battle hit by French and uh, British. So here uh, according to that the first Carnatic War, second Carnatic War and third Carnatic War struggled by the French East India Company and the British East India Company. So finally whatever the plan, whatever the way find out by French but failed because cunning plan brought by British people and finally they defeated the French and uh, established uh, supremacy power in our India, especially southern part of our India. So after the southern part, next concentration did by British to northern part of India. So northern part, especially Bengal province, Bengal province so, to acquire, to capture the main intention took by British further after the capturing of the southern part of India. So that uh, how the British ready to capture, to defeat uh, those rulers, to bring administration system, British India and British administration system in that area. We discuss uh, through this topic. The topic here, the British rule in India. So after the southern part uh, and acquiring the uh, Hyderabad, and Karnatic region next to they put the concentration to capture Bengal province. So here the British rule in India through that to be discussed here. In this uh, British rule in India there were two decisive battles did by British to control and capture and bring good administration system in Bengal province. So here just we, before discussing that uh, war and explaining the British rule in India to before acquiring Bengal province, what kind of the condition was there in Bengal? Just here, look at the board student, the political power over South India. That says after the gaining political power in South India by getting the places of Hyderabad Kingdom and the Karnatic region, next concentrating did by British to Bengal province. So, later part of 18th century, Bengal province side, uh, their concentration made. So here, at that time, how was Bengal province? What was the condition of Bengal province? It was a very rich province in India. The Bengal province, uh, later 18th century, this province achieved, got success in the field of tremendous uh, growth, in the field of agriculture, commerce and industry. Totally. Well, growth of agriculture, well, growth of commerce, and well, development of industries we see in Bengal province during the uh, later part of 18th century. At this time, British to get the profit and uh, bring supremacy power in that province now concentrated here by acquiring. So, here, British East India Company made considerable profit by uh, doing the business in this. Bengal province. Okay, so in this situation time, so how, why did the British people, why did the British people, they made uh, considerable profit in the sense here. So there is a reason student to make a profit here, reason what here. So reason, at the time, do you know who were ruling Mughal Empire? Yes, uh, at the time, Mughal Empire ruling by, his name is Baruch Shia. Park Shia under the control of uh, Bengal province and Bengal province to control Park Shia made now. So now of Bengal under the rule of them, Park Shia completely administrating here. So at that time, Park Shia what he had done in the sense here, Park Shia gave one license to who are doing business there. The license is that license name is Dastakats. Just that uh, in the sense here, so no giving any uh, taxes to government. They can free uh, do, doing the trade concept says Dastakat Surya. Dastakat nothing but uh, without paying any taxes doing, uh, doing uh, trade. 
this is uh, dastagat talisman license by receiving by taking up that license british what they had done british they done completely misused it here so here british people by using of this dastagat they made the misuse so misusing what will happens so misuse completely it uh, lost to uh, government so completely the result resulted loss of bengal provinces excuse me so bengal provinces in their british people doing the business without paying any taxes but that one misused by the british people and it uh, lost to the bengal provinces so then when loss find out by the now of bengal now what he had done in there that now of bengal opposed to misusing of the british uh, uh, thing okay and uh, here who were opposed to the british uh, misusing in this here they were ruling in the time now of uh, from mushir ali khan one and next one ali wadi khan these two people opposed the misusing of the dasakat by the british during the time of this okay so british were not uh, accepted the opposing of one op opposing of the nawabs okay and then they continued uh, their business and it was completely uh, continuously bringing loss to bengal provinces and now for bengal become very angry against uh, the british this angry made two decisive war in indian history so which were the two decisive war made by nawab of bengal and the british east india company is here one is the plassey the battle of plassey and second one is the battle of boxer so now let's we really discuss one by one the first one is the, the battle of plassey
have a female check, a female check daughter's son. Sirajuddo is the daughter's son of the Ali Wardi Khan. He came to the throne after the end of his grandfather here. So this is the introduction. And after the introduction, uh, let's be discussed when the reason why did this the battle of Dasi started here. The reason is first one is misuse of Dastakas. So misuse of Dastakas, the why this uh, decisive battle started. How did the misuse by the British people in the sense here? Here says to them, misuse of the office officials. Already you know that the Dutta uh, license given by Mughal Empire and it uh, implemented to now uh, Bengal province also. So while uh, doing the business in Bengal province, British, uh, they weren't paying any taxes and they were continuing the business and making the misuse of the license. So it bring anger to Siraj to start uh, the battle of Kasi here. Okay, so when British people misused, misused the Dastakat, what happened? It is completely brought uh, uh, lost to treasury. Government uh, become lost. Is the treasury completely become lost? So it made anger to the knob of Bengal and started the, the battle of Kasi. This is the first reason misuse of Dastakat. The second one is mending the mending of the fort without uh, permission. So see, does the license misusing one site and then they without asking any permission from the ruler or now they doing themselves what they need. That is one. Mending of the port without uh, permission. Mending is nothing but repairing the port, which one constructed by British people. We have got the, uh, the port name is Port William Port. The Port William Mending, repairing without permission of the uh, now and also in that uh, uh, port uh, they were storizing the cannons, cannons uh, weapons. More or uh, larger weapons they were. Uh, uh, Storizing in that uh, port, this made anger to the now of Bengal, especially Sirajuddo. This is the second reason mending of the port without permission. British uh, repairing the port of uh, Calcutta, that is the port William, without the permission of the now. And also they made their place the cannons, they were uh, storizing the weapons in that uh, port. It, this made anger to the rock uh, Sirajuddo. Okay, and then Nava, what is said, Nava ordered to the British people to remove those cannons to storizing in that uh, Fort William Fort. But they weren't uh, accepting, uh, they weren't understanding uh, the order of the Nava of Bengal. The third one reason is Black Room tragedy. So, Black Room tragedy. So what is what is this? Uh, I explain now, student. Uh, see when uh, this mending of the port and the storizing cannons in uh, the port it made anger to the now of Bengal, and uh, he was ready to capture this port, and uh, now he invaded to the Calcutta port and captured uh, Calcutta port, and what he had done while capturing the port of uh, Port William here. That made a black room tragedy here. Okay, now let's we learn the spread black room tragedy, what it says. So here, as you know, already was conquered the port uh, William by the Sirachito, and there he imprinted some British people. There were 146 uh, British officers uh, imprisoned by the Siraj in uh, the port of one small room. There is one small room in that port. In that port, what he has done, he imprisoned uh, 146 uh, British officers. Why did he imprison here? The British were not uh, accepting the orders of the Nawab of Bengal, especially Siraj and they storied the, some of the weapons in that uh, port. This made anger and uh, conquered that port and uh, imprisoned 146 British officers in that uh, port here. Okay, in the small room, so what happened there? There was a small room, no brightness, no air, no water, everything completely dark. So breathing also, it was very difficult to the 
uh, who were captured in that place here. So 146 uh, suffered like uh, breathing problem, no air, no water, everything disturbed to uh, living in that uh, black small room. So by the problem of this uh, totally 123 British people died in that small room. So why it is sincere? There was a no air, there was a no proper uh, uh, whatever the needed for them to drinking water. The complete darkness, breathing problem. By the breathing problem, they lost their life. 123 British people died in that uh, small room. So this is the block uh, uh, tragedy reason. The battle of Passy started here. Okay, so. English people by knowing this dying of 123 British officers, they angered Robert Clive completely angered the, the uh, policy and what, a, what the way made by Sirajutto and uh, he was ready to fight against uh, the concept of the Sirajutto. So now only British East India Company won't uh, defeat uh, uh, Sirajutto. So Robert Clive he made the one cunning plan. What he had made the cunning plan in the sense here. So without that cunning plan, they wouldn't get success here. So what the cunning plan they made in the sense here. Cunning plan here, he seek help. He got help from the local peoples who were enemy of uh, Sirajutto. So enemy of Sirajutto like uh, locals like uh, Manikshan, Omikshan, and uh, Jagat Seth. These three, three peoples for the uh, local and uh, rich people, they were the enemy of the Sirajuddho. They, uh, they uh, Robert Clive took the help of them. And another one coming back, what in the sense here, he was Robert Clive convincing Mir Jafar. Who was who is Mir Jafar? Mir Jafar is the military head of the Sirajuddho. Military head of the Sirajutto convincing the, to him what convince made by the British in this year, why battle time that Mir Jaffa wanted to stay neutral, keep quiet. This is here, stay, he wanted to stay neutral by the battle time. If, if he followed this, if he stayed neutral, offered, uh, offered by British people, what offer they offered in this year, see. After the battle, after the dying of the Sirajuddho, next to they are offering to the Mir Jafar to post of Nawab. So by this concept, uh, uh, Nawab of, of uh, Sirajuddho company disturbed the gathering of uh, British East India Company. So I said it, student uh, took the help, Robert Clive took the help of uh, three peoples, the merchants of that uh, Bengal provides, Manichal, Ominchal and and also second one cutting plan made by the British people, they were convincing to the Mir Jabbar, Mir Jabbar is the military head of the Sirajuddho and they offered to him to giving post of Nawab by the gathering of these people, they were started the, against the, the defeating of the Sirajuddho. With the help of local merchant and uh, Mir Jabbar, Robert Clive invaded to fight against uh, Sirajuddho, but mighty army and mighty support to win had not. It was very difficult to oppose Robert Clive to see Sirajuddho, and finally he was surrendered. Later, Robert Clive killed him in the final the Battle of Plassey here. So, by this student, this the Battle of Plassey came to be end here. So, finally. British cunning plan succeeded to get the victory in this the battle of Plassey. And finally, what kind of the result got by the end of this battle of Plassey? Let's discuss the result or outcome of this the battle of Plassey. The first one is this battle, it is one kind of the immorality. There is no morality we see in this battle because Robert Clive, cunning plan and cheating plan, it shows how they made the immorality. Follow. Okay, and then lack of unity among the Indians. So here British people, 
They made the turning plan with the taking support of Indians. The Indian merchant, Indian merchant, merchants, they were against going to the Indian peoples only. So this is one lack of unity among the Indians. There is no uh, good uh, unity among the Indians. It is one outcome and uh, and also Indian businessmen. Indian businessmen gave support to Sirajitol. So it is one lack of unity, one uh, outcome. Okay, and then Mir Jafar. So after the success of this victory, Mir Jafar becomes the now of Bengal and uh, company by giving support to now of Bengal. This British Eastern company gained uh, many rights from the now because now was just uh, name for ruling. The complete uh, under he was British. So Mir Jafar. Another one outcome of this, uh, the Battle of Plassey, Mir Jafar, he want to pay rupees to British East India Company. So how much rupees he want to give in this year? 17 crore rupees, 17 crore and 17 lakh rupees want to give British East India Company. So why did they, why did their Mir Jafar want to pay in this year? The Mir Jafar, because as a relief, as a relief of the Fort uh, William Kalkas. So, as you know, the before invading of the Siraj Dol, he made many uh, destroy the fort. So, relief for that, Siraj Dol attacks to fort. So, relief for that, Mir Jafar want to give 17 crore, 17 lakhs rupees to British East China Company. Okay, and uh, these are the outcomes after the end of the Battle of Plassey. And uh, next concept here. We can uh, let's we discuss the conclusion of this the battle of Plassey. In conclusion, anyway, Mirza was become the law of uh, Bengal and uh, he was a completely victim of uh, British East India Company. So, victim in the sense here, what British ordering, what British showing the right uh, path, he want to go, but his own decisions uh, not uh, accepting there, not, not agreeing there. Completely, he is one kind of the victim of the British East India Company. The company and the employees, they were misused to the artistic system of the Mir Jafar. It, it says uh, victim of uh, British East India Company, Mir Jafar. And uh, why, when they made victim Mir Jafar, and uh, they, instead of the ruling of uh, Mir Jafar, they did the administration and uh, it uh, become. Uh, lost to Nob of Bengal. So then treasury went bankrupt. Bankrupt in this year completely become empty. The treasury of uh, Bengal of France become completely empty. Why did that uh, Bengal of France government uh, become empty in this year? Greedy nature. Greedy nature completely looting the government, looting the province, looting the Bengal. So by this greedy nature, this uh, government. Uh, Treasury completely went uh, bankrupt. Okay, completely become empty. So, and uh, when it become empty, there is no profit for the British people. Then what they had done? They projected the complete uh, reason for this. Complete. Uh, where, why did this uh, treasury become empty? In sense here, complete reason they put on Mir Jafar. So it says British projected. He, this Mir Jafar, unfit ruler, and instead of uh, Mir Jafar, they brought his nephew, his nephew name is Mir Kasi. So, why did they dethrone the knob of Bengal to Mir Jafar in the sense here? So, when he ruling time, he couldn't give any profit to British East India Company, and it became bankrupt uh, completely. So, they said, uh, he was an unfit ruler. Instead of him, instead of Mir Jafar, they brought his nephew. His nephew is Mir Kasi. So, like this student, the battle of Kasi came to the end, and uh, these are all the outcomes. When Mir Kasi not ready to take back duty free. Rule the British anger, and uh, instead of uh, that, uh, 
they brought uh, again Neil Chopper as a non box for Bengal. They again death thrown the Neil Kasim and they brought uh, Neil Chopper now box for Bengal. So it is one cunning plan. This is one cunning plan made by British. But uh, do you know, student, uh, this cunning plan be British? They, can, they could make, uh, they could do this knowing this before. Mir Kasim, what a pre plan made by Mir Kasim in the sense here. Mir Kasim, before this concept, uh, he organized the Indian merchants against the British. So, before knowing the cunning plan of the British, Mir Kasim, what he had done, he organized the Indian merchants and artisans to give support against the British. And uh, our second uh, agreement, he made agreements with the rulers of India. Which rulers in the sense here? He made agreement with the Mughal ruler. Mughal ruler is named is the Shah Awad II. And uh, Nawab of Awad. Nawab of Awad, the Shuj Ud Awad. Shuj Ud Awad. So with the Shah Awad II, Shuj Ud Awad, with them he made agreements. Now this become combined army of uh, Mir Qasim. So one is Indian merchants, second one is artisans, and third one is the rulers. Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II, now of uh, our shoes uh, doll. So now combined army ready to fight against the British. And now the war development. How war continued? The war development that we discussed from here. So war development to we see here in war development combined force of Mir Qasim. I told Mir Qasim combined for combined force uh, who, who comes here. So combined force of Mir Qasim. And British Army, so British, uh, especially Army name is Hector Munro. So, with the leadership of the Army, Hector Munro at the place of Boxer, Bengal State, there is a place named Boxer. In that Boxer, in the year of 1764, battles started. So, combined army of Mir Kasim and the British Army, Hector Munro, with them, the battle, decisive battle started here. So, here, Whatever the power, whatever the support uh, Mir Qasim had taken, but it got uh, loose because again the cunning plans of the British. So finally, Mir Qasim defeated by the British and uh, Shah Alam II in this battle, Shah Alam II surrendered to British. So like this uh, battle came to the end. After the end of the Battle of Boxer, finally, what result came to be held? Let's be discuss the result of this Boxer of Battle. How comes? So, how comes here Shah Aung II, the ruler, Mughal Emperor, the Shah Aung II, he want to give rights to British. What rights he want to give in the sense here? Divani rights over Bengal. So over Bengal, Diwani rights want to be given from Shah Alam II by the result of this war here. So what is the meaning of the Diwani rights? Diwani rights in the sense here, the concept of Diwani rights is right to collect taxes. So that the area, the Bengal province is completely land taxes collecting rights taken by British of the end of this war by the Shah Alam II. And second one, Effect is Shah Alam II. He want to give annual fee 26 lakhs because he gave support to Mir Qasim. Okay, Shah Alam II. He want to give annual fee 26 lakhs to British and uh, the Nawab of Awad. The Nawab of Awad also gave the support to Mir Qasim. So fine, he involved in the war and supported given to the Mir Qasim to fine. He want to give here how much since here 56 15 lakhs want to be given to British East India Company. And uh, in this battle, Mir Jafar was died. So for the family, what the support given by the British in the sense here? Death uh, after the death of Mir Jafar, British gave pension to his son. Like the outcomes uh, we see after the end of the battle of Boxer. So Conclusion be the time now. Time is to come conclude the lesson. In the conclusion, British after the two decisive war, 
they become the real holders of that place north east india so north east india bihar bengal and uh, odisha in these places british become the real holders and then in 1765 one of the concept brought by british governor general his name is robert clive 1765 robert clive brought the one system that is a dual government system brought here what it says what is the concept of the dual government yes let's see see dual government in the sense here the british one dual government one government what to and second government what the first government the british had rights to collect the land taxes in the dual government one government concept here, here british they want to be collect the land taxes second one is nawab what the work he want to be do nawab of bengal he had the power over the administration administrative issues only he had the administrative power which which comes in the administrative power in this here justice and some other uh, powers he had the power here so like the uh, conclusion we see here okay students by this concept we are ending the today's video i hope spread uh, the battle of classy and the battle of boxer understood so by the two war north east and the north east part of our india came to be under the control of british and first carnatic by southern part uh, uh, especially hyderabad kingdom and carnatic region came to be under the control of british rule so this is the first lesson the advent of europeans in india in this lesson you understood uh, how british arrived to our india which uh, british people came to be our india finally which people stability find out in our india and uh, to bring supremacy power in our india they need different parts the complete information you got here remaining next session we can continue next class